Dr. Jane Yang. Mr. Speaker, according to OECD, better, uh, Mr. Chair, according to OECD Better Life Index, when asked how is your health in general, 89% of people in New Zealand reported to be in good health. This is much higher than the OECD average of 69%. This report states, quote, despite the subjective nature of this question, answers have been found to be a good prediction, a, a, a predicator of people's future health care use. Now, Mr. Chair, the finding is not surprising at all. The fact is that while many developed countries around the world are freezing or even reducing health funding, National is investing an average of $500 million extra each year in public health services. So we are spending $14.7 billion on health in budget 2013, the most ever. We are making each dollar go further delivering 1,000 more doctors and 2,000 more nurses with 1,000 fewer back office staff. Now, National has had four years of record increase in elective surgery. 35,000 more patients get elective treatment a year than under labor. Patients who need radiation or chemotherapy treatment begin treatment within four weeks. Just last week, I visited a colleague, a former colleague, who is recovering from her cancer treatment. She said she had received treatment without any delay. And also, more, more, cardiac, more cardiac services are being provided today, faster, and also not having people dying on cardiac lists at Wellington Hospital as Labour did in, 20, in 2007. And other achievements under National include 94% of ED patients are seen within the next hour target. In 2009, major DHBs were seen less than 70% of patients and 89% eight, and of eight months olds are fully immunized on track for 95% by 2017. Under Labour in 2007, just 67% of two-year-olds were fully immunised. Also, the national government is committed to ensuring New Zealand children get the best start to school and is investing an extra $7 million into the before school check program so even more children receive these important checks. Mr. Chair, a record 52,000 four-year-old children had a free before school health and development check last financial year. For the first time, we have, reduced, we have reached target of 80% of four-year-old children being offered a check before they start school. This is a significant improvement from a few years ago when only around half of four-year-old children had received before school check. Yeah. And Mr. Sp Mr. Chair, this year's budget includes a significant boost to funding in areas of heart disease, obesity and diabetes, with a strong focus on prevention. $35 million for more heart and diabetes checks, improved local diabetes care program, improved program, improvement programs, and doubling of the funding for green prescriptions. The government also continues to invest in expanding medical school places. Since National became the government, we have lifted the annual intake from 365 students to 505 students. Mr. Chair, in this year's budget, we continue to, provide, to protect and grow the public health services Prudent management of the health budget has allowed the government to invest in more new initiatives and the changing need of our population. Mr. Chair, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate and to thank our most capable health minister, the Honorable Tony Ryle. Thank you, Mr. Chair.
The question is that vote health stand part of the schedule. So those of that opinion will say aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. The question now is that uh, vote education stand part of the schedules. Mr Chairman. Uh, Dr Cam Calder. Mr Chairman, thank you. It's very